Young, tell me a little bit about like what you see as the dojo. Where where does this sensei uh, terminology or culture come from? Like where where are you trying to kind of like pull from with uh, with these oh, terms? Man. Uh, I I was on uh, Nate Nate Digital's podcast yesterday, and uh, they asked me that same uh, same question. Young content comes from a place of it's not content. It comes from a place of brokenness. It comes from a place of failure, dude. I've, been, I've failed so many times in my life. I've been broken up with two, but like 30 times. I've literally, uh, you know, went through a bunch of heartbreaks and family and stuff and couldn't keep jobs and just, uh, you know, a lot of self doubt I dealt with like for the past, like for my whole twenties. And, uh, I just started creating, uh, I started writing a lot and creating an alias called young content. So I was grateful for what I have instead of what I was missing. And in that whole energy was just like, oh, yo, I, I, I could be the sensei of the culture if I want. The unofficial sensei of the culture. Unofficial, not official. But uh, it was just a, 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 a time to take the power back, you know, through a bunch of, uh, you know, the world is crazy, dude. So I kind of, you kind of have to become a character to survive it. I, I feel that 100%. That's a great quote. Uh, so tell me a little bit about how you kind of I mean, I'm, you don't have to like go in depth right but like these times that that influenced you or shaped you kind of take me through like how you found yourself in crypto essentially like give me that origin story but if you have anything that maybe shaped the, yeah. the sensei definitely um, touch on some of them there was a friend of mine named denny lovejoy and he was just like this passionate filipino kid and um we met him i met him through um <clears throat> this app called rise uh this was in 2017 2018 it was like this live streaming app that paid you in crypto called props but they were all it was like it was like a startup they were testing it all but i met like these degen crypto you know cyber cyber cyberpunks there and they started saying crypto this crypto that and i started diving in and next thing you know i find andreas antonopoulos and he's just like whoa i'm like dude this is like a true teacher i never had a teacher like that so i was just studying mm -hmm. his podcast his videos the way he spoke, I really soaked up AA. And uh, from that point, uh, just realized that this, this technology is world changing, the aspects of NFTs. I, I knew I knew it in 2017, I knew it. So I just got started going ape shit using the money from Chick-fil-A, Best Buy, to just ape in uh, to like shit coins. And uh, that started going crazy. And I started being success using Ether Delta and all these crazy early applications that would scam well, you. What were some of these early shit coins that you were in? Plex coin. I need, I need Flex. Uh, Ooh, Flex. Snovio. There was, um, there was dragon chain. There was a bunch of stuff, dude. A lot Electra. of things were popping off back then, man. Yep. Trash. Yep. So yeah, <laughs> basically, I don't know what is around these days, but, uh, pro probably none of them, but dude, anyways, w w I got go chain ahead. link at fucking 20 cents <laughs> mm. at that time. So, um, you know, paper handed that it was just, it's a, the journey's been funny, dude. Yeah. They, well, there wasn't a lot of culture back then too. Like, like people were trying to bring in different kind of vibes, but the NFT space really is like, it, it unlocks that piece of, for blockchain, right? It unlocks that piece where you can start to have, uh, different communities and have these, I don't know, assets that not only represent people as a person in the metaverse, but like things that can be built off of that. Like that didn't exist in 2017. It was really just like financially based in all these tokens and how much money we can make. It was like bro culture almost. Yeah. Yeah. You put it, you say, yeah, you say wise words, very bro culture. <laughs>